Hello and welcome back to another topic of evolution from DNA Bioscience. This is Suman and today we are dealing with the colorations. Uh, I am not going to discuss about all types of colorations. We are going to discuss the colorations which are important in exam prospective. So let's begin. The colorations are the main motive is for the defense. Okay. So the defense is animals divided into the cryptic coloration and the aposematic coloration. So first one is the cryptic coloration it is also called camouflage so in this case the animals are patterned to blend in with their surroundings you can see in this picture this is a crab and the surrounding is of same color so it is difficult to identify or recognize the organism as it is blend with their surroundings or environment. So what is the purpose of it? To disguise their appearance so that they cannot visible to the predators and so they don't get eaten by the predators. The next is aposomatic coloration. One example is the toads. The toads are brightly colored so predators know not to eat them. So it's called the aposomatic coloration. So in aposomatic coloration, it generally describe about the color patterns. Okay, you can see these are various color patterns which is a kind of warning to the predators that uh, the prey species is unpalatable, toxic or dangerous. So as these colored individuals are dangerous or unpalatable or distasteful, the pattern is known as warning coloration or aposomatic coloration. This is an example of larva of the monarch butterfly. So the milkweed leaves, this is the leaf which secrete the milkweed on which it is feeding, contain the cardiac glycoside that are toxic to vertebrates because they block the activity of the sodium potassium atifis that is essential for many cell functions. So the larva stores this within its body and so becomes unpalatable to vertebrate predators. The chemicals remains in the body even after metamorphosis so that adults are unpalatable as well. So one question is which type of coloration helps a prey species advertise to predators that it is unpalatable. So in this case the prey species is advertising by showing that it is very colorful and they have the various color patterns. And in camouflage or cryptic coloration, one question is there, which type of coloration helps the prey species avoid being detected by predator? Okay, so the answer is cryptic coloration because the species blend with the surrounding so it is not able to catch or visible easily by the predators. So this is all about the coloration. I hope it will help you. Please do subscribe and thanks for watching this video.